Welcome back everybody into the recap of the second week of my first FTMO challenge, the one that I'm making with 10k as a, a main account and we're going to have an um, extensive, more extensive recap, not just about the price action or the results of course, but um, also, sorry for the motorbike, also for the emotional side, the learning experience, what I did better than last week, where I'm improving, where do I still have to improve. And for this exact reason, I'm going to show you the uh, notes that I took day after day to sort of see what changed uh, day after day, to see what improved during exactly every day of the week. So these one are the notes that I took on the first of uh, on the first day of the week, so Monday. So as you can see, uh, was Bitcoin okay? I did take um, a short stop loss, high risk high reward trade on gold. I remember price was in trend, was absolutely okay, even if it's. Um, it was a loss, it was not a problem, rushed, it's fine, reduce lot size, this one was the first one, first thing that I was making as a mistake, so maybe after a loss, maybe after a small win, I reduced the size to um, due to the fear of losing money, opportunity, watch live, the candle closing, was started second guessing and every fear. This is something that I am improving already. I will talk about it. Reduce lot size. Okay, overall thing here. And to consciously stop taking trades in London if price is not trending. And start to have a clear mind of what it means to have a trend. And to stop reducing lot size. So, really uh, about this first point, I have been consistently taking my lot size 0 0.25 lots every single trade no matter what and um only exception was yesterday on gj but it was because it was the first singular trade on gj so um, it's like i don't know um, i don't really know that the pair yet so it's always better to be cautious but reducing size what i thought was okay i reduce size i will not take any profit partial profit and that's what i did exactly already from the first week i was improving temptation for counter time much less and more manageable absolutely good i'm now uh, really able to understand what is a temptation or what is okay i see a double break and retest uh, double rejection I might take it, um, which is um, not just tempting. Is I think it is sometimes it is a good opportunity. That's why I take it. Feeling the desire is absolutely here. Apart from one day, which I was down uh, from the mental side. Less if I took the trade, I will be up. Yes, exactly. This is this has been consistent during the week. Even yesterday, you, we're going to see it the trade i take the problem right now is to manage the trade let's go to tuesday uh, trades no trades taken because it was not trending so absolutely patience and absolutely uh, okay in insight uh, there was a liquidity grab and a strong rejection but man it's absolutely fine gut feeling um Okay, this is was the actual trade. I remember it was a liquidity grab and then a break a retest and I enter at a retest, which was absolutely good. Um, this one um, was a same bias. I took an entry, I took a loss. There was another clear opportunity and I didn't take it. So this one is about, about don't being afraid of taking losses and Consequence, consequent wins, this uh, consequent t more trades. Um, this is something that is still not very, very. I'm not practice, practicing a lot. I am taking through the weeks. Uh, take took trades 
even after taking losses or missing opportunities and this was good and um, yeah I still have to really 100%, be 100% sure that I'm taking all the opportunities that my gut feelings say so still a work in progress but much better as I told you Thursday was a no day missed London didn't want to watch it I was completely down and um, I took a perfect entry perfect entry but I managed the trade instead of uh, going for the full TP and partial TP very proud of myself this one is the same concept it's not I if I entered I entered it's just to manage properly and um, it will go okay it will be okay but we're going to talk about this point later on trade loss was okay price was closing and retesting absolutely oops maybe yeah the only issue was that I took a trade right before the 4 hour open and the price was not in a trend yet we the right first trade and we still in profit okay so yes uh, there you go my weaknesses are not being able to take all the entries and to become a fail scale when already in profit afraid to lose if it closes to an entry if it is close to an entry and afraid to leave money on the table if it's already after 30 pips uh, I remember this one this one was up then I saw a small rejection and I took it like at 30 pips while the next candle would have gone to 45 I'm not letting the right trade run is it cool and as you can see this one uh, goes very well with yesterday being absolutely shocked of taking away the full trade with a small loss instead of letting it just run I will go to my full TP immediately in one minute this one is was painful because with these mistakes without these mistakes I will be up I will be in profit in the challenge but let's start with um, let's start to see what was the balance at the end of last week we were down 2.4 percent so we were down to under divas and today we are only down 26 euros so we had a pretty nice run from minus 2.4 percent we are only down 0.2 percent which is absolutely good news because still two weeks and we still have two weeks more to go and this um yes and this is using 0.25 lots which are very very uh, small lot sizes and um, yeah let me make notes for the future this one already okay this one are all uh, duplicates so let me close make a new one notes for third week okay so okay let me open with black notepad I don't want to blind you okay okay so keep consistent lot size I will see if I'm going to be able to slightly increase the, the lot size either this week or for sure the last week because even if I'm small profit small losses I can um, I still have room to take losses and I still have room because I have to take profits to 1k if I want to just pass this challenge at the first try which is not the main goal but I can, I can. possibly increase to 
0.4 0 0.5 okay don't be afraid take losses and trade after losses this one is um, absolutely important this act getting quite quite well so uh, okay lot sizes are good this one i'm getting much better and take all the opportunities this is something that it's the main opportunity that i have because it's almost trading a demo account and the last one is the main one as you can see as i showed you from the last couple of days uh, the notes were clear the notes were clear um, here taking small loss small loss just to see the very next candle go into my full tp or the day before uh, da, da, da. here okay taking partial taking seeing the, the price going to 30 pips it's fine taking the full close here when the candle is rejecting so like 30 pips and 30 pips instead of just waiting and let the price go to my full tp which is like 15 pips loss in the in, in the in the meanwhile just for nothing because the the trade entry was good so there is no reason to it we're not even closing rejecting closing bearish risking the, the stop loss at break even so what is my main goal for the third week is never ever modify position manually that means take trade enter enter set set loss at break even at 20 pips partials 50% at 30 pips full tp at 45 so that means that if the price goes to 19 pips and then goes back to the entry then is a, then and goes to my stop loss that is a loss maybe this part if i see that is like 19 pips then i can put the stop loss at break even manually but not touching partials partials only at 30 pips and if it goes to 30 pips and then gets rejected and goes to break even it's fine I have to be patient and not watch. Oh, maybe I can watch, but being able to accept that the price can go either to my full TP or can go back to stop loss. If it can go to uh, partials or it can go to break even. If it goes to 25 pips, 22, 23 pips, then it can go back to break even. I don't care. I don't have to care because otherwise the pain of losing these side is much greater than having this one 100 percent sure and this week showed it so i'm taking very good entries i'm very very happy about it i am uh, implementing this one and on gj absolutely this one i already see i, I took this entry was 30 pips very clear um and I took a very nice entry here. I don't remember where, when, here. This cell, I think it was, I think it was, yes, this cell yesterday. And I didn't let it run completely. It's, I can't make these mistakes. And I'm not saying that I enter here and, or here. Let's say I enter here and I have to wait uh 
three hours for price to go to my full TP. No, we are talking about high volume time where it's just a matter of minutes and I'm not take, and I'm not waiting those minutes. So that's absolutely what I'm going to uh, fix. I will not open the modified position at all. Maybe if I see that the price is going, maybe I already survived like here. Let me show you. <clears throat> maybe if I see that I already survived with the stop loss, not placing the, the head break even, but maybe reducing it. Okay, because I already had this spike. If it goes back again, it's not good. But anyway, there's no the stop loss is there for a reason. Did it go to 20 pips? No. So when it will go to 20 pips, then I will be happy to go to break even. There's no reason to take it here. The trade idea is not invalid and I cannot modify the position. The entry was really good. Everything else has to be um, improved. So these are the um, goal for next week. As I showed you already, um, we are now down only 0.2% to 27%. 0.27%, which means that I still have, of course, two weeks to make a full thousand euros if I want to pass. And of course, the, I can easily leverage on the uh, lot size, local lot size that I'm using. And if I'm confident, if I see that I can, if I'm from Monday to Tuesday, I can see that uh, I'm taking consistent trades even without touching it and I'm happy about it, I feel good, then I will probably incre increase to 0 0.5 and with this lot size, uh, like a 45 pips win is 180 euros. So it's, I mean that it's only like 10 trades that and I can be to, to my full TP. So absolutely no rush, patient, even if I just go like 500 euros in profit, I will be able to extend like 14 days, which is absolutely awesome. And we're going to see each other on Monday for our daily recap. And for this long recap, we're going to see each other on next Saturday. See you guys.